Hey guys, welcome out to the range. No joke guys, that was not planned because this was like the second or third iteration that I'd run with this 20 rounder and it's 24689 uh, um, because that one gets a triple tap at the end mostly because you've bought yourself enough time to actually pop that dude three times. But you noticed the max swap from the bandolier was really fast. Um, I uh, when I first got this product from IC13, I I saw it on, on online. Uh, one of my viewers had suggested that I look at it, and I checked it out online, and I immediately liked what I saw. Um, I've been in this industry for a very long time, so I have the ability of looking at a product and immediately seeing its worth, and I immediately saw the worth in this product. What I didn't expect and this really is truly what caught me off guard in a good way. I did not expect to see a product of this quality show up. Um, typically speaking, nylon gear is crap. It's just the way the industry works. Uh, so much of what's on the market is garbage. Um, but this bandolier is really very well made. The mag swaps on a bandolier of this type are in parallel, and here's why. Mag out mag in and you can either store it here or you can just stick it in as I refer to blue jeans field expedient dump pouches for, at least for men blue jeans pockets you can see my phone blue jeans pockets are big and they allow you to to shove fairly good sized objects all the way into the pocket remember guys this is not um, tactical LARPing this is not a tactical LARPing rig where you get all kitted out with your helmet and your thigh rig and the strap and the war belt and everything. This is grab and go. And this bandolier really, truly, um, really stands out as a grab and go rig. It is made in the U.S. Guys, please stop buying stuff from Amazon. And actually, that's a great point. What a lot of you don't understand, but those of us who are in the industry fully get, is that... Amazon is a clearinghouse for Chinese manufacturing, and their job is to undercut and undermine American manufacturing. And products like this, when they show up and you, and you get them out of the package, you go, wow, you've got my attention. Um, because I'm a manufacturer, and yes, by the way, I did pay for these products. I paid for them in sending dog leashes, uh, several dog leashes and a sling to the company in trade for this rig, for the uh, the rifle rig and the PDW rig. Um, so yes, I paid for this with my time and my resources. What I find interesting about this kind of thing is that a, a product, how can I put this? Nylon gear is subjective, meaning that if you don't know what good looks like, you're going to be content with what's being offered to you. And the manufacturing sector knows that. They know that if they make a product that's just good enough with a really great price point, you're going to go, yeah, and you're going to ignore the fact that the product is not that good. This product is not that product. This product is way over the top. This stuff is tier one. Okay, This is really top quality. Um, the medical pouch, I don't have the scissors in place yet, but the medical pouch you pull and the medical pouch holds your stuff in it. I've also got a pouch on the back that carries some more medical gear. There's so very little in the tactical industry that gets my attention anymore. This rig really got my attention. From the word go, this rig got my attention. And I forget who it was that mentioned it to me. And uh, sir, I really appreciate you mentioning this, mentioning this to me because I could not be happier with this rig. Um, this bandolier is exactly the type of thing that I was looking for. And look, this ought to show you how serious I am about making sure at, here, here at Tier 1 Citizen that I give you guys solid advice. As much as I would love for you to buy um, the uh, Haley Strategic Rig that I've got on my website, I would suggest you buy one of these because the vast majority of us out here are cake eaters. That's all there is to it, guys. I'm one of them. We don't need full-on kit. What we need 
is a little bit of support gear. So you've got an extra mag for your handgun, you've got two extra mags for your rifle, you've got medical gear, and a little extra whatever you want in the bag, in the back, and you're done. And this rig is so, so small and so lightweight that it's, it's all, it, it behaves almost like an afterthought. Like you don't, you don't even have to think about this. This is pick it up, throw your, your, uh, your shooting hand through, goes over your neck, and now you're in it. And then you can take the speed strap and lock it in place. It's Velcro. Take the speed strap, lock it in place, and what this does, it goes around the scapula under the armpit, and it keeps the bandolier, as you can see, keeps the bandolier from wanting to migrate this way. Because when you have something loaded up with weight, it's going to want to migrate here. It wants to settle, you know, like, like a shoulder bag. It wants to settle down here. But this truly is the one and done type of setup for support for your long gun. So I am very pleased with it. The answer to the question that a lot of you are going to have is, how is this going to age over time? I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep this thing fully loaded up at all times with uh, loaded mags. And we're going to see how it ages. But um, I like it and I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I'm really hard on equipment. And like I said earlier in the video, I paid for this. So for someone like me to sit down and assemble something like this, because this does take a little bit of work to assemble. Um, and remember guys, this is ambidextrous because I'm a lefty. So this is set up for me right now. For those of you righties, it would be this way. So you'd pull your mags like this. So that's another plus. This is fully ambi. But for me to sit down with a product like this and at every step go, dude, I like that. And this thing just, it, it just clicks in place. Guys, I'm really picky because I make rifle slings. So I pay attention to stitching. Man, there's attention to detail on this rig. And if you manage to treat this so hard and so, um, so rough that it were to begin to fray a little bit, you could field expedient repair the thing because the stitching is clean and it's exposed and what I mean and I mean that in a good way meaning that you can get to pretty much all the stitching on this but the the, the backer the piping um, the foam backer on this it's just a really nice rig that holds its shape well so when you uh, when you go to take this off you can either unvelcro which I'm not going to do because velcro will fatigue over time but this thing, okay, it's on a pinky. This thing is such a joy to work with because it is so simple and it is beautifully constructed. Like I said earlier, I'm a snob. When it comes to nylon gear, I am a snob. And I'm really hard to impress. And this rig has really impressed me. The, uh, the under the armpit shoulder strap that retains this from sliding down can either hook in here or it can hook in here at the bottom. So far I'm kind of between here and here. I'm trying different positions, but once I find one that fits, I'm just gonna stick with it, and leave it alone. And honestly, there's no point in taking this off. I mean, why would you why would you take this off? You could you could hook something else to this if you needed to, or this is just another option. So just leave it in place. Um, but yeah, really like the rig a lot. Um, It is a complementary piece to a very small PDW or you know short AR-15 defensive setup that gives you exactly what you need, nothing more, in a very small compact package that fits into very, very tiny travel bags. So that's something else to consider. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for your sling purchases and for your donations to keep this channel independent. As always, God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.